Many users ask us if Twixter can read time audio. While Twixter only retimes video, there is an easy way to use After Effects to retime the audio, but use Twixter to retime the video, all at the same time. This tutorial shows you how to do that. We can do this by using After Effects to control the timing. After Effects does the audio with Twixter under the hood. What I mean by that is that Twixter will be doing the video retiming, but being controlled by After Effects time stretch or time remapping. And the result is that After Effects retimes the audio and Twixter retimes the video. Let's see how this is done. We start by taking a look at our clip. The Queen Mary now, now is in Long Beach, California. And it's been there for many years. The Queen Elizabeth II is now in Dubai and it's been turned into a hotel. Okay, now we can make a new comp and we don't add Twixter yet. The first thing we do is pre-compose. Let's call this pre-comp with Twixter. Now we go to the pre-comp and apply Twixter. Inside the effect controls for Twixter, we check the input frame rate and make sure it's the same as our original clip. We can turn on the GPU if we want. We leave the speed at 100% because we're going to control the timing using After Effects. Now we go back to the comp where we want to do our retiming. We can use any of the After Effects retiming tools. We can use time stretch or time remapping. I will show you both methods. Let's start with time stretch. We go to layer, time, time stretch. We can make the clip 200% or two times longer in this case. We will also set After Effects frame blending to off because remember, Twixter will be doing that. It sounds a little counterintuitive, but it's because it's going to use Twixter for the retiming of the visual part of the video and After Effects for the audio part. We go to Layer, Frame Blending, and Off. Now we can see a preview. Twixter's retimed the video and After Effects has retimed the audio at the same time. Now we can see the other method using time remapping. The first part is the same, so we can just skip to the part where we added time stretch before, but this time we go to Layer, Time, Enable Time Remapping. You see that time remapping gives you a linear plane, but if we enable animation, we can add some keyframes and stretch out a section to retime the clip and make it slower. We also need to set frame blending to off for this too. We go to layer, frame blending, and off since that's the case if we use time stretch or time remapping. So now you can see if we play this back, we have Twixter for the visual and After Effects for the audio. Now it's in Long Beach, California. It's been there for many years, the Queen Elizabeth II is now in Dubai and it's been turned into a hotel. Just to recap the possible gotchas, and this is for both methods, you put Twixter in the pre-comp and leave timing at 100, and you turn frame blending to off in After Effects because it uses Twixter.